Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a project with some two-ply acrylic and I'm going to be using the Atom Stacked A12 and the new B3 enclosure. This is a very nice looking and well-built enclosure. It has a few features that I think stand out. One, it has its own built-in exhaust system and I believe it uses a 3 inch port which is mounted on the back of the laser. It has its own built-in lighting which is pretty bright and I think it's it does a good job of lighting the interior. It's a little bit difficult for me to really capture how bright these lights are because I'm videoing through this orange acrylic and there's also exterior lights on that are affecting the uh, image but I can say honestly that that it does put out plenty of light and it does a really good job of lighting the interior and the project area here's what the built-in camera looks like and it's a really nice camera um, really nice resolution, image looks great, easy to set up and light burn. And if you don't know how to set up your camera and calibrate it, I would highly recommend you go check out Louisiana Hobby Guy. I think he's got a pretty much the best video on that out there. And really, if you want to learn about lasering, that's the channel to go check out anyway. But anyway, the wiring on this uh, enclosure is really well laid out and clean looking. It uses a little rubber grommet on the side of the enclosure to you know, keep the smoke inside so it's not leaking out where you're at and you don't have to breathe it in. Overall, I think it's just a really great unit with this B3 enclosure. I wouldn't have a problem using this inside my house at all. As long as you were exhausting out the window, I think it's perfect for that. When I was using it, and I used it on some pretty nasty stuff like acrylic, which usually smells really bad, but I wasn't, I didn't smell at all. The fan was working great. It exhausts uh, it exhausts the fumes out, no problem. So that's the basic rundown of this new enclosure. Um, like I said, I'm really happy with it. And if you're looking for an enclosure and you have a one of the Atom Stack A series engravers, I would definitely go check that out. So for the project I have in mind to test this uh, setup out, I decided to use some of this two-tone acrylic sent to me by Craft Closet. This stuff is awesome. I didn't think you could get as detailed as you could get, and you'll see what I mean when I'm done with this project. Uh, I'm going to make a keychain for a friend of mine and then also a, a plaque, a Spider-Man plaque for another friend of mine. So let's get into it. In a coming video I'm going to show you guys how I made this manifold so that I can just use one fan to exhaust several different lasers. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, as we should always do when we're using a new material, is run a few tests just to see what our settings should be so we can get the best possible results. I did kind of mess up on this test on the engraving side. You can't see the numbers and that's because I accidentally picked line instead of fill. On the right side where I did the cut test, you can see it a lot clearer. And also on the cut test, I only did one pass, so none of them actually cut all the way through. I found that two passes ended up being the sweet spot for me with this particular material. I'll go ahead and post the settings that I actually used for this material that worked for me down in the comments. For the keychain, I'm going to make a quick little cardboard jig so that when I engrave one side of the keychain, I'll be able to flip it over to do the other side and make sure it's in the same exact position so I, my artwork will line up where I want it. So now what I'm doing is I'm just cutting out the shape of the keychain 
and then once I have that I'll put it into the jig and do the actual artwork. Alright, and here's the finished uh, product. This is with the uh, Spider-Man. This is called the Spider-Man Aztec calendar. And before anybody asks me for the artwork, it's actually not mine. I, I purchased this off of Etsy. I can put the link down below for anybody who wants to go and get their own. But the, uh, the details with this acrylic is way better than I expected. I didn't think you could get this precise and... I mean, look how crisp it is. It's excellent. I was so, so impressed by this. And here's the keychain. Came out really, really good, too. I was really happy with this. The only thing about this is it's only got the second color on one side. I wish that they had it on both sides. Maybe they do have, have it there. I'll have to go check it out and see. But So I did this one side with the uh, white came out really well that's my supervisor patty she's really great that's why i made her that and here's on the back which is just a red acrylic and it's still engraved that pretty well but it's not anywhere near as easy to to read as the other side is but this spider-man <laughs> is awesome i love this i'm gonna look first they have other ones on etsy i'm gonna look at some of those and and do a couple more so I'll just wrap this video up by saying, you know what, if you have an Atom Stack A-Series engraver, this B3 enclosure is fantastic. If you want to be able to engrave inside your house, like maybe you have a room, a craft room where you like to do your different projects and whatnot in there, and you could vent it out the window, it's a perfect setup for that. The lighting, the built-in camera, um, the exhaust system, all of it worked flawlessly for me. I had no problems with any of it. And then, of course, that two-sided uh, acrylic. I definitely, that is one I definitely recommend. Man, you could do so much with that. The key change you could make, the detail it's capable of, it's just fantastic. Definitely recommend both of them. And you know what? I really appreciate everybody who watches my videos and subscribes to my channel. It keeps me going. I know I've been kind of flaky lately with my videos, but I plan on putting out a, quite a bit more content in the coming future. But until next time, I hope everybody takes care, and thank you for watching.